New developments and new information about that trooper-involved shooting. We first told you about that shutdown of I-95 after that awful bus attack last night at 11 as it was breaking. Well, police say a man started cutting himself on a bus from New York City. Then he began stabbing other passengers. It ended with that attacker being killed by state police. News 8's AJ Walker is live tonight in Norwalk with more on that trooper and the victims. But first, News 8's Brad Spiros explains just how it all went down. What was supposed to be a routine trip to a Connecticut casino turned into a frightening ordeal in Norwalk along I-95. So all you heard was sirens and you had red flashing lights everywhere. Harold Coben lives in Norwalk and came upon the scene just minutes after it happened, right around 10 last night. Police say a fight started on the casino-bound bus. One man attacked two passengers with a weapon believed to be a knife. The driver of that bus then pulled up to a construction site right near exit 14 and got the help of a state trooper. As he was approaching the bus, a suspect and a civilian aboard the bus were engaged uh, in physical combat, rolled off the bus onto the pavement of the highway. The state police say the suspect was ordered to drop his weapon. That's when he went after the trooper. The trooper then shot the suspect. Coben snapped this picture right after it all happened and sent it to News 8. There was a man on his back on the pavement with his knees up and uh, not moving, and there were several troopers uh, walking around him. I took that to be the, uh, the perpetrator. The suspect later died at the hospital. Three other people were treated for their injuries and are expected to be okay. The incident shut down a portion of the highway for several hours. It reopened right before the morning commute. The matter is now under investigation, but police credit the quick actions of the bus driver for possibly saving the lives of those on board. Uh, the bus driver did an extraordinary job locating help and getting help uh, to stop the aggression. Reporting from Norwalk, Brian Spiros, News 8. Well, now we go live to News 8's A.J. Walker. She's along I-95 in Norwalk with the very latest there. A.J., you've learned a lot more about the trooper who stopped this attacker, right? That's right. We finally learned the name of that trooper. We do not know the name of that man who just sort of got on the bus and went crazy with a box cutter. Of course, we're still working to find out that information. But behind me, if you can see here through this fence, that construction site is where it all went down. State Police say Trooper Mark O'Mara is a 10-year veteran with the Connecticut State Police assigned to Troop A in Southbury. Now he's on leave after a violent encounter with a man wielding a box cutter on a casino bus heading to Mohegan Sun. But before troopers could respond to the bus, the bus pulled into this construction zone and got the attention of a trooper who was assigned to work the construction zone. The bus, owned by Dahlia Tour Bus, made a frantic stop to pull over at a construction site along I-95. After reporting to police, the man, armed with a bus cutter, went on a bloody rampage. At one point, the suspect, it's reported, uh, was inflicting harm to himself uh, with that cutting instrument on the bus. Police say another passenger was also injured and rushed to the hospital with serious injuries. The suspect was as well, but died after police say the truth was forced to shoot him when he came at him with the box cutter. Today, I reached out multiple times to Dahlia Bus Company for comment. They did not return my calls, but the U.S. Department of Transportation tells me the company is based out of Boston and has never been flagged for any violations. And although state police have not identified the man who boarded that bus with a box cutter, we've reached out to the company multiple times trying to find out information about this passenger, how he was able to get on that bus with a, with an, with a weapon. They have not returned our calls. Of course, we'll stay on top of them and try to find out more about this incident and if there was surveillance video. video. For now, live in Norwalk, A.J. Walker, News 8.